Today for Mousetrap Monday, I have two different 3D printed mousetraps to show you that were invented by one of my YouTube viewers named Harrison. Harrison's an engineering student at Auburn University. He came up with some really unique designs. Both are powered by rubber bands. This one's a guillotine style without the decapitation. This one's a really unique snap style. I'm going to zoom in and show you how each one works and then we're going to go test them out. Here's what this 3D printed mousetrap looks like. It's kind of hard to show with the black color, but we have a plastic body here. A trigger pad that's hinged on front and goes up and down. That's attached through this wire to this lever on top. On the bottom of the lever is a hook. That hooks into the blade. The blade sits in this groove and goes up and down. And on either side of the blade are knobs. You attach rubber bands on either side, just like this. It hooks around, goes like that into the other side. So when it's set, you pull it up. And when a mouse goes in and releases it, it comes slamming down. It's all set. The hook on the lever here is holding up that blade. Those rubber bands are stretched really tight and it's connected to a wire to the trigger pad. So the mice will come in, step on this trigger pad, and when it releases it, it will undo the hook and come down just like that. That's quite a bit of force. Now you don't want this going off too early so you can cover up the trigger pad with this cover. That way the mouse will go under the blade before it sets off. Seems like a good trap. I can't wait to test it out. Now let's look at the other design. It consists of a plastic base, a hinge here, and a kill bar on top. I put some rubber bands around the knob so it'll come slamming down. The trigger system is really unique. On the bottom of the kill bar is a groove. That's part of the balance. We have the trigger pad here, which is a square piece of plastic with a knob on the bottom that fits in a groove on the base. So that keeps it from sliding forward. This is gonna slant up and wedge against the kill bar, but not completely. We have a second piece here. This is the second part of the trigger. It has a groove that fits on the top of that. And then the piece here fits on the edge. I'll just set it and show you how it works. It's really difficult to set. There, I have the balance all right. Again, it's really hard to see, but we have the trigger pad here, that second piece wedged against the kill bar. So when the mouse comes along, it's going to step on this pad, break that joint here, come slamming down. Now both pieces of the trigger go flying, so I'm going to have to watch where those go. I'm curious if this trap and the guillotine trap are going to work, so let's go set them up in the barn with motion cameras, see if we can get some wild mice with these 3D printed traps that Harrison made. For the past week, I tested out Harrison's 3D printed mouse traps, and unfortunately, I was not able to catch a mouse with either design. I think both traps are really unique and have a lot of potential. These early prototypes just need some fine tuning to make the trigger systems more sensitive. People who watch this channel are so creative. Every week in the mail, I'm being sent new mouse traps that were invented by YouTube viewers. The channel's growing like crazy. I'm posting between four and five rodent trap videos a week, so make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss anything. A lot of people have been requesting an actual guillotine style mousetrap and that video is coming soon so stay tuned.